Hi guys, today we have the Fluke Networks Pro 3000 Tone Generator and Probe Kit. Um, I have already opened this and used it on the job site. This is the packaging that it came in and they included a nice carrying case. Um, it's got a Velcro flap to hold your generator and probe in. It's got a Velcro pocket on the front and it has a Velcro, Velcro belt loop on the back and the instructions are included in the large back pouch. Okay, so we're gonna start with the tone generator. So this tone generator has two different functions. You can check continuity and you can trace wires using the tone generator function. To turn it on, you just push this button and the light will come on. And we're going to start with the tone function. So switch it to tone and right now we're going to have a solid tone. If we push this button again, it's going to be a pulsing tone. If we push it again, the power is going to go off. So let's turn it back on. And I've actually got a short extension cord for a demonstration here. So if this was your wire, you're going to clip one lead on one wire and one lead on the other wire. And then simply take your probe and turn your volume down because it's rather loud turn it down a little bit and then you're going to hold the button and then try to find the wire that you're looking for now i have the volume too low to hear so we're going to turn it back up and that, that's the tone now we're going to change it to pulsing Notice how whenever I get closer to the wire, it gets louder. So that's how you're going to trace a lost wire. Now this also has a function to where you can verify that you have found the right wire. So what you do in that situation when you found the other end of your wire, well, let's say cable because it's usually two or more wires, you're going to touch the two conductors together. Now, whenever you touch them together, the tone is going to change. And this is what you'll hear. And that confirms that you have the correct cable. Now, to use the RJ11 jack, you simply plug it into a female adapter and trace your cable the same way. Hold the power button on the probe, wand over your cables, and keep getting closer and closer till you hear the sound as loud as possible, and that is your cable. To verify that, you're going to strip back two of the wires that are paired up inside the RJ11 cable and touch them together. If you hold them for two seconds, the sound will change to the sound you just heard. Now the second function of this uh, tone generator is a continuity test. So obviously in this extension cord, there's nothing plugged in, there's a cover on the back, so it can't be continuous because this is one wire and this is one wire and the holes are the same. This is a wire, this is a wire. So right now there's nothing completing the circle. So we're gonna plug it into our, our wire here or attach it, should I say. And we're going to turn it on, and it's in continuity test. So right now, there is no continuity, because it's open. Now let's say that it was continuous, we're going to see what happens. So simply, I'm just simply going to touch the leads together. See that light come on? 
that shows me that there is a short. Now, I also took a video earlier whenever I was using this in the field, and I will attach it at the end of this clip. However, I'm going to turn the sound off because if you're using this tone generator and probe kit around live voltage, you're going to pick up a little bit of feedback and it's it's rather loud and obnoxious. So I'm going to turn the volume down and just show you the steps I went through to locate the correct cable. I hope you all enjoy this and there is a link in the description where you can get it.